everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Holly and I hope everyone's having a great day so far today I have a recipe for pecan praline French toast that I wanted to share and it's a really easy recipe you will need two tablespoons of maple syrup 3 4th cup of chopped pecans 1 cup of firmly packed light brown sugar and two tablespoons of granulated sugar, a third cup of melted butter, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. One cup of 2% reduced fat milk, and four large eggs. And you wanna choose a French bread that has a soft crust, just so that way it's easier to cut. Now add your brown sugar to a bowl and you're gonna use a fork to break it up because it is, once it's firmly packed, it does get hard a little bit. So just take a fork and break it up. Then add your melted butter, your two tablespoons of maple syrup, and then you wanna mix this until it has a smooth consistency lightly grease a 9 by 13 dish or pan that's oven safe and then take that mixture and you want to evenly coat the bottom of the pan with it now add your pecans on top of that sugar mixture and just be sure to spread them evenly that way it's distributed over the whole bottom then beat your four eggs Add your milk, your sugar, your ground cinnamon, and your vanilla extract. And then you want to mix this until it's completely incorporated. Now, since this bread was on the thin side, I sort of cut it on a bias just to give it a little bit more. And you're going to lay that on top of the pecans and I used 10 pieces. Now, I wanted it to be larger, but it would have been less bread that I would have been able to fit in there, so I just went with the smaller pieces so I can get 10. Also, I cut up little wedges of the bread just to cover where some of that mixture was showing. Now, pour the egg mixture over the bread and just be sure to get it on every single piece. Now cover either with plastic wrap or aluminum foil. Then you will put this in the refrigerator for eight hours. And you wanna let that soak into the bread. Then you will cook this on 350 in the oven for 35 to 37 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it's done. And it really turned out good. It wasn't overly sweet, which was nice. And you can always add more syrup on top if you'd like. And if it's something that you have leftovers for, you can reheat it in the microwave and it'll be fine. But I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like it, please click that subscribe button and that notification bell. That will notify you when I post new videos. I thank you all so much for watching and I hope everyone has a blessed day.